Joining me for the last time this season, Rockford Ice Hawks goalie Jeff Glass. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Thanks for having me. No problem. So last week you came in, we were talking, and you were sort of a bystander because Delia was on a roll and, and had won several games in a row, but then in the conference finals you guys were struggling a little bit and you went down three games to none and you got the call. What do you know? There I am. Right? And, and we <laughs> talked about it for the previous couple of weeks. You always have to be ready, and you never know when your chance was. Were you surprised that that's when your chance came? Um, no, I don't think I was surprised, but um, it, it, I knew it was gonna something was probably going to have to happen for me to get in the net, and unfortunately we had to go down a few games for that to happen, and uh, that kind of comes with the territory. But um, like you said, I've been kind of ready. I've been really telling myself that, uh, mentally to stay involved and stay engaged and be ready for this chance when it comes. And um, I was ready. I, I, I did feel ready and uh, excited for the opportunity. Now we had our kind of our backs up against the wall being down 3 nothing, but um, it's still a lot of fun. It's tough <laughs> hockey. It's, it's the conference finals. It's what we play all year for. So um, I was excited to get in there and, and kind of have a couple games. I mean, as a player, especially a goalie, I mean, you have to live kind of for that pressure it's got to take you to that next level. Uh, you nailed it. That's exactly what we play for and, and why you play, and, and you want the big games. And that's all season long we played uh, some games bigger than others to get to this point so you can have the big games at the end of the year where it's all on the line and it all comes down to one shot or one goal. And um, that's really what the last three games were for us was every little thing you did on the ice mattered. And you never wanted to be that guy that caused the season to be over or whatever for whatever reason. So... Um, you're not motivated by fear as much as you're motivated by that. You also can be that same guy that one shot anyway ends the game for you in a positive way, and we're moving on. So um, we were that close. And, it, you know, it does sting a little bit right now. I'd be lying to you if I said it, it didn't, but uh, we put up a pretty good effort. Yeah, so that first game you go in, the team wins. All right, awesome. We get to play Friday night. You come back Friday night, team wins again. That's pretty darn exciting. You guys are going back to Texas. So you, you go back to Texas, and you're down one nothing, And it's getting into the, the end of the game. You know, you're in the, the, the final minutes of the game. What was going through your head at that point? It's funny because it was, it was the same mentality. I, I honestly did believe we were going to score. And it's so weird to say that because we hadn't scored all game. Um, I mean, they're a great team. They've shut us down all game, all series. It's been kind of tough to get our goals. For some reason, I knew we were going to get one, so I was trying to just stay engaged because I knew when we get one, we're tied. We're going to keep going and keep playing. And um, sure enough, Chris Domenico scores again, and he's been clutch all playoffs for us and uh, finds a way to get us a goal late and pushes it to overtime. And, and and that's the kind of team we had this year was every time we had something go wrong or so everybody would count you out, we were down and out, found another way to score, found another way to come up with a save or make a big play and uh, keep us alive, keep the season alive, and and that's what we did. And it, it was uh, it was one of the more exciting games I've played in a long time. There were some serious shots being taken on you. Yeah, it was that was fun too. And, and you know what? Um, I, I think going going so long not playing, um, I had a chance. I had a chance to go in and play and show my stuff. And um, it's not an individual sport, but I had a chance to 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 go and do what I do, and um, it was a lot of fun. So you know, getting in there in that atmosphere. Uh, with everything that was riding in the line, it was it was fun, and it, I, I think that that rose my game to another level, and and uh, everybody else as well. You know, you talk about it being a team game, but in this in the world, the goalie only one can play at a time. You have multiple defensemen, multiple forwards are playing, so to go through it and, and with the kind of the same finish, but without you getting that chance, it, it's not the same, is it? No, it's not, and um, it's it's too bad because, you know what, um, we were right there, and um, like you said, goaltending's a little different, so I, it's, it's more black and white. There's no, um, like you said, you can play a third pair or a reduced role uh, and still influence the outcome of a game. You're either in the game or you're not. Um, so I was in the game, and I got into the game. I'm excited to be in the game, but it's black and white there too, and, and you're a winner or a loser. And, um, you know what, we came up short, but it was it was. Just that, that I, don't, I don't think we did anything uh, 
that would make us losers as opposed to winners. Oh, God, it no. was it was just a bunch of bounces and it was a you know it was so so uh small the, the difference between winning and losing and uh it just didn't bounce our way this year we talked about it last week the the world of hockey luck and you guys weren't getting any and you were finally getting some of that hockey luck um but not completely and that's it that's it you nailed it i i think um anybody that watched the game game six we scored with i think it was a minute and a half two minutes left in the game um our next shot on goal hit the crossbar so right. you know what like that that shot from cody franz and uh, i think his hands were half up already but it, <laughs> it, it it had eyes it went in hits the crossbar it goes out um turn around in overtime they hit the crossbar and it goes in so um and it's it's literally that close that 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 puck goes in from cody franz and uh, we're talking about not just a game seven, but they're a pretty banged up bunch that the Texas Stars were, and I liked our chances in game seven. So, um, you know, that goes crossbar and in. We might be talking a different story right now. Uh, we wouldn't be talking right now because you <laughs> wouldn't be home yet. <laughs> Probably, very likely. <laughs> Jeff Glass from the Rockford Ice Hogs hanging out, kind of wrapping up the season. So it's done now. What do you do? Yeah, this is the fun part of the season now for uh, – and I say that very sarcastically because, uh, <laughs> you know, it's got to rain on a day like today, but everybody's packing up. And um, I, Cal- Calgary, Alberta, and Canada is home for me. So um, I'm going to pack up. Um, I got the, uh, my wife and my daughter, and we're going to head home, but um, not before uh, putting everything into a box and, and, and trying to get it there. So it's a little bit of a, a circus uh, these next week or so, these next couple of days, trying to get everybody organized, get everything in line, and uh, hit the road. But uh, that's part of the deal as well. So um, pack up and, and and make my way north. So have all the boys pretty much said their goodbyes and, hey, this was great season, see you later? Yeah, we were able to do that a little bit in Texas after the game and then um, and then again last night we got together as a group. So um, it's tough. Like you're, you're, you're expecting to still be playing, but, uh, again, that's part of the deal. So we're, we're, um, we're it is what it is and we're all moving on in our own directions now. You know, you, you look at it and, yeah, I mean – you got to be disappointed that it's done because the ultimate goal is to win the championship. But his, in history, this is the farthest that the AHL Ice Hogs have ever gotten. So, I mean, you got, I mean, the town, we're all super proud of you guys. This has been awesome. Yeah. And, and that always sinks in once you get home or once you settle down a little bit. But you're still in the heat of it. At least I feel like I am. And um, I still feel like we should be playing hockey or getting ready for the finals right now. And uh, that part still sucks. But, um, eventually you do get over it. You realize that it was a successful year uh, on a lot of fronts. I think we had a lot of guys called up to the Blackhawks this year. We had a lot of first-year players that, um, if I would have told you their name at the beginning of the year, I don't think anybody would have had any type, any type of expectations for these guys. And uh, They came out and shone for this team. They're going to be back. They're going to be bright stars in the future. And um, The future looks really bright here in Rockford, and I think that's exciting for everybody is the fact that uh, even though this was a good run and we, we, we came up just short of what we were looking for, I don't think this is the end. I think this is just the beginning, and um, Rockford's got a lot to look forward to on the ice and off the ice. I think there's quite a few pretty good guys in the locker room. Professionally, what does your summer hold for you? Yeah, no, now um, now we wait and see. So um, July 1 is always when you become a free agent. and Because um, basically I'm, everyone does one-year deals. Uh, more or less. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah, you know what? Entry levels are three years, so... Uh, a couple of our younger guys are tied in for a few more years, and then there's all the restricted free agency versus unrestricted free agency. And um, me being an older guy, I'm I'm an unrestricted free agent, so I'm free to do as as see fit uh, after July one. Um, and up until then, I'm still property of the Blackhawks. So uh, this is why we have agents. They're gonna my agents gonna help uh, work through, see if I'm welcome back here, or if it's time to move on and move on to a new club. And um, my job is to play hockey. So I'm going to continue to come to the rink and be ready to play wherever it is next year. But uh, once July 1 comes around, I'll know we'll have a little clearer picture of uh, what the future holds for me. So you pretty much, you know, you've got the agent. He, he takes care of it. You don't worry about where you're going. You know, you know, we're in contact. I shouldn't say I don't worry about it. If we well, if you're going to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, because you want to make sure you have a job. I yeah, mean, it's like anything. Absolutely. But you're right. My he wants me to take my mind off this as much as possible. So he'll bring offers to me of what he uh, thinks fits my criteria based on um, what I'm trying to achieve uh, throughout the season. If it's a good opportunity for me on the ice, if it's a nice city to live in, blah, blah, blah. He'll bring all those things to me uh, with an offer. And uh, if it, if it checks the boxes, then away we go and we're off. 
Okay. Well, personally, what's your summer look? For? What are you looking forward to this summer now that it started? Yeah, there's lots. Uh, you know what? It's um, I got a couple weekends with my buddies. Um, got an anniversary with my wife coming up here, so it'll, it'll be a couple nice getaways to uh, kind of relax, enjoy, enjoy it for a bit. And um, I'm really looking forward to just getting back to Canada. We're uh, we got a lot of friends and family there, and saying hi and. Uh, we had quite a few people following along this year. I'm sure there's uh, a few people even listening to this radio show this morning from back home that um, it was it was pretty cool. So it'll be cool to sit down with them and uh, kind of uh, go through the season once more and, and uh, tell some good stories. Where does this season rank in your career? Yeah, it's up there. I mean, uh, if you would have told me this, this past fall that I'd get 15 games with the Chicago Blackhawks and um, get to go to the, the Western Conference Finals with the Rockford Ice Hogs and um, you know, play with this, this kind of crew, I, I probably would have told you you're lying. I, I don't think it would have, uh, I don't think I would have believed it, but it was, um, it was a pretty special year. And, and you know what, uh, anytime you get to play your first NHL game, that's a year you'll remember fondly. And, um, looking back, it was, it was a great year. So, um, onwards and upwards, but it was, uh, it, it was, it was a lot of fun this year. All right. The most important question, how soon does the playoff beard go? Oh, because uh, you got I, a good one. You got I, a really good one. I I think it might be within the hour, uh, <laughs> but it was um, it was a good run for the beard. I'm 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 happy to have it, but probably more happy to see it go. Um, we, I can't believe what kind of stuff gets caught up in it. I mean, I was I was eating, and <laughs> it would be breadcrumbs, there'd be soup, there would be you name it, and uh, it was a good run for the beard. But I think it's time to move on. How does the wife feel about it? Yeah, she's excited to see it go too. I think. Uh, <laughs> I was. I think we tell a good story. The one, the one morning she brought her daughter in, who's seven months in, into bed, right as we were waking up, and I didn't even realize she she crawled into bed with us. And all of a sudden, I felt these little fingers running through my beard and <laughs> hanging on tight. And I knew, oh, it's time to get rid of this beard. But <laughs> she's hanging on to it like it's a play structure. So now, uh, will you do it yourself, or will you go somewhere and have someone do it for you? No, we we went. You know what? It was uh, right downtown. The downtown. I can give a little plug here. The downtown. Um, Barber shop. Right go see Dave. Me. Dave. Oh Dave. yeah, I was. I saw Dave yesterday. There you go. I told him to put out a sign to welcome all you guys to get your beards done. He invited me down before the playoffs. He promised me he cleaned it up before I went. Uh, before the playoffs started, I, I made him a promise. I said before I leave, I'll come back. And you can shave it off. So, um, so that's where I'm headed this after or this morning. Later this morning. So, uh, we'll go see my boy Dave and see what he's got for me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for for all your time. You're really gen- generous with your time this season. It's been fun getting to know you. And, and hang out and and good luck in the future. Yeah, you know what? I same same to you. This was uh, this was a lot of fun for me this year. I I really appreciate it. It was uh, it was cool to come on here and talk some hockey, talk a few other things as well. And um, like I said, it was it was an awesome year for myself personally and as a team. And uh, most importantly, I think that Rockford's got a great fan base here, and everybody's so lucky to have this team here. And I think moving forward, the team's only going to get stronger, and it's going to be a perennial winner every year. And um, it's lots to look forward to. So I was, I was just happy to do my part this year. And we'll be following along and see what brings Jeff Glass in the future. Sounds good.